True dropshippers work with one supplier or multiple different suppliers. That's one of the most common questions that I'm getting and in this video I will show you the exact answer to this question and why do I think like that. Short intro and we are starting. Hello everybody! So this que question makes me crazy because a lot of dropshippers are asking me this question and this question comes not only from beginners. I also hear experienced dropshippers who come and ask me, asking me this question that Leo, I want to go to 20 different suppliers, how do you recommend me to do that? The answer is, I don't recommend you to do that at all. I recommend you to focus on one supplier in the beginning and when you become more advanced dropshipper and you want to try some more techniques, go to another one that you want to go and become a professional on this specific supplier. When you have all of the knowledge using this supplier for at least a few months, you can go and add one more supplier. But you will never go to more than five suppliers in parallel because there, it doesn't make sense to do that. All what you need to do is to become a professional in very specific supplier in the beginning and I will show you now why I think like that. So, first of all, let's start from the reason number one and then I will show you the second reason why I think that you need to focus only on one supplier at uh, the same time and then go and add more suppliers but one by one and not jump into multiple, multiple suppliers at once. So, first of all, let's talk about the biggest suppliers in the world. Let's say Amazon.com. Amazon.com, according to um, January 2018, had a uh, 564 million different products. Doesn't it uh, enough products for you? Do you really think that you need more products than 564 million different products? The answer is for sure not. So why would you go to other suppliers if you have here fast shipping time and uh, great customer support and all of the benefits of Amazon. Now, I don't, uh, I don't say you to go to Amazon and work only with Amazon or recommending you Amazon as a supplier, but every supplier has its own benefits. So what I recommend you to do is to find a supplier that you like, that you like the benefits of this supplier and start learn this supplier really, really, really deeply. Start to understand their shipping times, all of the tricks that you can do with the supplier. How to find the best dropshipping products at the fastest way using the supplier. For example, on AliExpress you have the dropshipping center. Same for Banggood, for Costway you have their recommendations. For Amazon you have their movers and shakers that can help you to find different and uh, good selling products. So why would you start and focus on many different suppliers together? You cannot really become a professional when you work with this way. Let's talk about Walmart. Same about Walmart. We have 46 different million products. Doesn't it enough? Isn't it enough for you to um, really make profits using Walmart? The answer is for sure yes. 46.1 uh, million pro products is enough to make enough profits from Walmart. So you don't really need to jump between uh, different suppliers. And here also. You need to go and learn this supplier really deeply to work smart and right with them. Otherwise, for example, your account may be blocked. You may uh, do some different mistakes using the returns process and stuff like that. The second reason why I really recommend you to focus on suppliers one by one. Let's talk about Banggood, which is one of the most amazing suppliers that I know. They have the Chinese warehouses, they have the US warehouses, and they have a good customer support if you compare it to other Chinese suppliers. But what I want to say about uh, dropshipping from Banggood and why I would recommend you to focus on one supplier at uh, the same time. For example, if I'm a beginner and I want to start dropshipping, I can go to Banggood and become a really professional using Banggood as a dropshipper supplier and then not only that I will become a professional, know all of, all of their tr tricks and tips and everything there, I will also get a huge edge over my competitors. What does it mean? So for suppliers like Banggood for example, we have the dropship center. So if I go here, I will have here discounts. 
So as you can see, as much as I grow and as much as I do more profits and more sales using Banggood specifically as a supplier, I will get more discounts from them and a bigger edge over my competitors. So let's say that I got $30,000 in sales using Banggood in total and $10,000 in sales in one month, which is not a lot. Um, I will get here 10% um, discount for all of my orders from Banggood. Isn't it good? It's great. You will have a huge advantage over your competitors. You can actually sell with 0% profits and get from Banggood 10% back. So you will become much more competitive, have a huge edge over your competitors and make more profits. Not only that, when Banggood sees that you are in a higher VIP level here, by the way, for AutoDS users, you can get immediately to the first VIP level, which is a good start if you use our link. Um, so you will also have get better support from Banggood because they see that you are a big user. You will know exactly how to work the right way with their customer support and all of your processes will be much easier. So I really recommend you to focus on one supplier at the same time. Don't go and focus on many different suppliers. It doesn't make sense. It will not help you in any way and it doesn't really help. Why would you do that when you have so many different products in a specific supplier that you can choose? Again, if you want to work more with more than one supplier, you can focus on two at the same time, but learn them one by one. Even the biggest sellers that I know with millions of products, all of them use with one or two suppliers maximum. I hope that this video helped you and gave you some ideas about what are the right directions to manage your dropshipping business. Like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to ask us any dropshipping related question in the comment section on YouTube. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye.